No man is an island, wrote John Donne. Imagine living alone on a deserted island, without community. Even the strongest human can crumble. Ever wondered how a tree isolated from the forest struggles to grow? Like that tree, we humans, social beings by nature, with or without connection and community. In this video, the 18th law of Robert Greene's book, Beware of Isolation, is the reminder that we need people to be powerful. Without people, you can't have power, right? Like it is the base. We know silence is power, but the extreme of everything is bad. We explore what stoic philosophy says about it, and we will show you proper reason why you shouldn't isolate yourself. Why it makes you vulnerable and an easy target for manipulators. So let's just start the video. You'll automatically like it in between. Chapter 1. The Illusion of Safety In our journey through life, we often seek comfort and security in solitude, building metaphorical fortresses to shield ourselves from the chaos of the outside world. This instinct, while seemingly rational, hides a deeper truth. Isolation is more perilous than it appears. By retreating into our own fortresses, we cut ourselves off from the richness of human experience leaving us vulnerable in ways we cannot foresee. Human beings are inherently social creatures designed to thrive in the company of others. The ancient Stoics understood this well. Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, emphasized the importance of community in his writings, urging us to remember that we are all part of a greater whole. When we isolate ourselves, we disrupt this natural order leading to a state of imbalance and vulnerability. Psychological studies, such as those conducted by John Cacciapo in the early 2000s, have shown that prolonged isolation can have severe effects on our mental and physical health. Loneliness can trigger stress responses in our bodies, weaken our immune systems, and even shorten our lifespan. It is a paradox that the very walls we build for protection can become the source of our suffering. In isolation, our perception of reality becomes distorted. We lose the ability to gain new perspectives, to learn from others, and to adapt to changing circumstances. This self-imposed blindness can lead to poor decision-making and a false sense of security. The Stoic principle of Amofati, or loving one's fate, teaches us to embrace all aspects of life, including its uncertainties and challenges. By isolating ourselves, we reject this wisdom, missing out on the growth that comes from facing life's adversities head on. As we delve deeper into this exploration, let us remember that true strength lies not in isolation, but in our ability to connect, adapt, and grow within the world around us. Stoics literally teaches us to fuck our feelings. Remember that in every stage of life. Chapter two. The strength and vulnerability. Embracing vulnerability is often seen as a weakness in a world that values invincibility and self-sufficiency. Yet, paradoxically, it is through our openness and connections with others that we find true resilience. When we allow ourselves to be vulnerable, we open the door to deeper relationships and richer experiences, which ultimately fortify us more than any fortress ever could. The Stoics taught us the importance of accepting our human limitations and the impermanence of all things. Seneca, a prominent Stoic philosopher, reminds us that life is unpredictable and filled with uncertainties. By isolating ourselves, we attempt to create a false sense of control over our environment. However, in doing so, we miss out on the essential human experience of shared vulnerability and mutual support. Research in psychology supports this ancient wisdom. Bren Brown, a contemporary researcher, has extensively studied the power of vulnerability. Her findings indicate that those who embrace vulnerability experience greater emotional well-being, creativity, and a sense of belonging. By facing our fears and exposing our true selves to others, we build stronger, more resilient connections that can withstand life's inevitable storms. 
Chapter 3, The Perils of Stagnation. Isolation not only separates us from others, but also from the dynamic flow of life itself. When we withdraw into our fortresses, we risk becoming stagnant, missing the opportunities for growth and transformation that come from engaging with the world around us. The Stoic tradition teaches us the value of embracing change and remaining adaptable in the face of life's uncertainties. Heraclitus, a pre-Socratic philosopher whose ideas influenced Stoic thought, famously said, you cannot step into the same river twice. This notion captures the essence of life's ever-changing nature. By isolating ourselves, we resist this natural flow, becoming static in a world that demands flexibility. The Stoics believed in accepting the impermanence of all things and learning to navigate the currents of life with grace and resilience. Studies in psychology and sociology also highlight the dangers of isolation-induced stagnation. A study by Julianne Holtlandstad in 2010 found that social isolation is as detrimental to health as smoking 15 cigarettes a day, significantly increasing the risk of premature death. This research underscores the profound impact of social connections on our physical and mental well-being. Without these interactions, we become susceptible to a range of health issues, both physical and psychological. Isolation stifles creativity and innovation. When we cut ourselves off from others, we limit our exposure to new ideas and perspectives. The Stoic principle of eudaimonia, or flourishing, emphasizes living in accordance with our nature and cultivating virtues. Engaging with others helps us refine our understanding of virtue and apply it in diverse contexts. Moreover, isolation can lead to a narrow, self-centered worldview without the challenges and insights that come from interacting with others. Our perspectives can become rigid and dogmatic. The Stoics valued wisdom, which they believed was gained through experience and reflection. By isolating ourselves, we miss out on the experiences that broaden our understanding and deepen our wisdom. In our pursuit of safety through isolation, we must recognize the inherent risks of stagnation. True strength and resilience come from our ability to adapt, grow, and learn from the world around us. As we continue this journey, let us embrace the stoic wisdom of engaging with life fully, accepting its changes, and finding strength in our interconnectedness. Just a quick reminder, if you're enjoying this video, Please consider like and subscribe, and thanks a lot if you did already. Moving on. Chapter 4. The Manipulation Isolation not only weakens our resilience and stifles our growth, but also makes us vulnerable to manipulation. When we isolate ourselves, we become easier targets for those who seek to control or influence us. The lack of external perspectives and support systems can leave us susceptible to coercion and exploitation as manipulators exploit our solitude to their advantage. The Stoics recognize the dangers of allowing others to control our thoughts and actions. Epictetus, another influential Stoic philosopher, taught that true freedom comes from within, from our ability to govern our own minds. However, when we isolate ourselves, we risk handing over this control to others who may not have our best interests at heart. One way manipulators exploit isolation is by creating a sense of dependency. When we are cut off from others, we may become reliant on a single person for emotional support, validation, or information. This dependency can be leveraged to manipulate our decisions and behaviors. Research on social influence such as the work by Robert Cialdini in the 1980s, highlights how isolation can amplify the power of authority figures, making us more likely to conform to their demands. Isolation also limits our access to diverse viewpoints, making us more susceptible to indoctrination and propaganda. Without the opportunity to engage with different perspectives, we can become trapped in echo chambers where our beliefs and fears are reinforced without challenge. This environment is fertile ground for manipulators 
who can shape our perceptions and attitudes to serve their purposes. Moreover, isolation can erode our self-esteem and sense of self-worth when we lack meaningful connections. We may begin to doubt our own value and capabilities. Manipulators can exploit this vulnerability by offering conditional approval or affection, using it as a tool to control our actions and thoughts. The stoic practice of self-reflection and self-discipline can help us guard against such manipulation by fostering a strong sense of inner worth and autonomy. In a state of isolation, we may also become more prone to anxiety and fear, which can be manipulated to further isolate and control us. Fear is a powerful tool for manipulators who can use it to keep us dependent and compliant. The stoic principle of ataraxia, or tranquility, teaches us to manage our fears and maintain a calm mind. By engaging with the world and seeking support from others, we can fortify ourselves against the manipulative power of fear. As we continue to explore the dangers of isolation, let us remain vigilant against those who seek to exploit our solitude. True strength and freedom come from within, but they are nurtured through our connections with others. By embracing community and remaining open to diverse perspectives, we can protect ourselves from manipulation and thrive in a world full of uncertainty. Chapter 5. Embracing Connection for True Resilience In recognizing the perils of isolation, we come to understand the profound importance of connection. True resilience is not found in the walls we build around ourselves, but in the strength we gain from our relationships and our engagement with the world. The Stoic philosophy offers timeless wisdom on how to navigate life's challenges with a spirit of openness and interconnectedness. To cultivate resilience, we must first acknowledge our intrinsic need for community. The Stoics believe that we are all part of a larger whole, and our well-being is intertwined with that of others. Marcus Aurelius wrote, What is bad for the hive is bad for the bee, emphasizing that our individual flourishing is linked to the health of our community. By reaching out and forming meaningful connections, we strengthen the collective resilience that supports us all. The benefits of connection extend beyond emotional support. Engaging with diverse perspectives broadens our understanding and fosters personal growth. When we open ourselves to new ideas and experiences, we become more adaptable and better equipped to handle life's uncertainties. The cool, stoic practice of premeditatio malorum, or premeditation of evils, involves contemplating potential challenges and preparing ourselves mentally. By interacting with others, we gain insights that help us anticipate and navigate these challenges more effectively. Moreover, community engagement fosters a sense of purpose and belonging. When we contribute to something greater than ourselves, we find meaning and fulfillment. The Stoics taught that living in accordance with nature involves fulfilling our roles. By embracing this role, we transcend our individual concerns and become part of a greater narrative which empowers us to face life's challenges with courage and determination. In our modern world, the tools for connection are more accessible than ever. Technology allows us to bridge distances and maintain relationships, even in times of physical separation. However, it is essential to use these tools mindfully, ensuring that our virtual interactions enhance rather than replace genuine human connection. The stoic emphasis on mindfulness and presence reminds us to engage deeply and authentically with those around us. As we conclude this exploration, let us carry forward the wisdom of the stoics, embracing connection as the foundation of our resilience. By opening ourselves to the world and cultivating meaningful relationships, we find the strength to thrive amidst uncertainty. Together, we can navigate the complexities of life, grounded in the knowledge that we are never truly alone.